I made a post about three months ago with the caption, they'll copy but discredit you, red flag. Okay, and I wanna say thank you so much to Miss B. Greyer who made a comment on that particular post wondering if I was gonna do a live stream or a video about it. I'm bringing the video right now. Listen, understand that people will copy your whole flex. They'll copy how you talk, how you walk, how you move, the way that you do things, which is completely foreign to them, but somehow they're doing it like you. They're copy they don't have their own style, their own way of doing things. That's too hard to figure out. That's too hard for them to comprehend. That's too hard. That's too much healing. That's too much work for them to do. They would much rather copy how you do things. Copy how you speak. Because remember, these people see the attention that you get. People see the rewards that you get from being your authentic self, being your be the person that you are. You just do what you do. And they feel like if they copy you, they'll embody you. They'll be you somehow. But these people will never give you the credit. They'll never say they learned it from you. They'll never say that you taught them anything. They'll never say that you did that for them. Nah, they want to make it seem like it was originating from them. They're, that's what they're going to do. The reason why people don't want to give you any form of credit is because they already feel like you get everything that you want, which may be false. You may not get everything you want, but you look it. You know, you look like everything's going well. You seem like everything, everything seems to be going well for you. So people who are idea stealers, concept stealers, you know, these people who did not really do the work, it didn't come from their minds. These are the same people who will copy your whole entire being. Just the way that you move through life, they'll copy you real quick and then try to make it seem like they thought of that. They'll even go so far as to say that you copied them, that you're the person that turned around and acted like, you know, you you had, you stole their idea. You stole their concept. It couldn't be further from the truth. Understand that people don't want to give your roses. They don't want to give you your flowers. They're not going to want to say they learned that from you, that you taught them anything, that you educated them on anything. You'll just see them one day just doing what you do. And it's going to bother you a little bit. It's going to stun you because you're thinking to yourself, when since did you move like that? When since did you have that? Why are you, you know, you feel like you're looking into a mirror, but the mirror is foggy. These people thought they had you down to the T. And these people are copying you and trying to discredit you at the same time. That is a big red flag. The reason why it's a red flag is because everybody should be moving their way. It's a simple concept that we think is commonplace. We think it's common knowledge, common sense. But unfortunately, common sense isn't common anymore. People will use your ideas, take your ideas and completely throw you under the bus thinking that, you know, they want to look the way you look. They want to come across the way that you come across. They want to pretend that it was your spirit. It's their spirit that they're embodying, but they're trying to embody your spirit. People are going to know real from fake, fact from fiction. Understand that people will know who's real, who's not. These people, they may be discrediting you. And, and maybe trying to fool the people around them, trying to pretend like these ideas, these thoughts came from their minds, but the real will always recognize the real understand. Big red flag. When the people around you start copying you and give you no sort of respect afterwards.